Hello again, so hot off the press within the past couple of days comes this new tooling from AFIX, the new 135 scale Austin K2Y ambulance, the KT from World War II, 4x2 ambulance, um, really welcome addition to the 135 scale kits, particularly as it's a British vehicle. Although it's brand new from AFIX, the dies for the model were made by Academy Models, so sometime in the future this will appear probably as a boxed Academy kit. Um, AFIX was supposed to bring it out in 2021, Unfortunately, the delay meant that another company, Gecko Models, brought out their Austin K2 in the middle of 2021. And the Gecko Models is far superior, and a special edition of the Gecko Models kit comes with um, an optional little model of Princess Elizabeth that you can display with the vehicle. The Austin K2Y ambulance from Airfix has none of those features. Um, unfortunately, also, it doesn't look like there's any detail moulded onto the tyres either. So we'll have a look at this brand new offering, costs around 30 quid and it is it is well worth the money because as I say it's a nice welcome addition. Um, the Austin K2 as modelled by Airfix comes in two boxes, two boxes, two packets of three sprues um, and decals and some photo etch parts and you get glazing which some of the glazing is not used with the K2. It appears to have some cabbed truck glazing in with it as well, which is curious because if we look at the sprue sheet, the sprue sheet has A sprue, B sprue, and D sprue. There's no C sprue. Now I suspect in the future, Airfix are gonna redo this kit as an open cabbed uh, K30 truck, flatbed, and also, I think they may do it as a K30 cabbed 1300 weight. It's certainly true that sometime in the future, Gecko models will be doing theirs as the K30 open cabbed general service and also the closed cab general service as well. So that'll be something to look forward to. Um, a word to the wise though, if you're doing this as an ice cold in Alex model, be aware that the truck as built originally came only in 4x2 configuration. The back, wheel, the back wheels are driven, not the front wheels. In Ice Cold in Alex, the Austin K2 cab and chassis were mounted on a X canadian field artillery tractor 4x4 chassis. So you need to do it as a 4x4 configuration if you're doing an Ice Cold in Alex diorama. Okay, that's that out the way. Um, it has colour schemes thus. And appropriate decals that's the princess elizabeth one in england the famous one she had a photograph taken with and um, the there appears to be no engine and there's no details of make and mold it to the tires which is a shame because years ago afix did a far better job with their dunlop run flats on the old bedford ql gun port a it would have been nice to have seen some molded makers detail to the tires Transmission details, lower transmission details. Um, unfortunately, the the radiator is cast as one piece, as opposed to having mesh drills in. Um, the Gecko models one, all these three areas are cut out for three separate mesh bits. So that's where it kind of falls flat in detail. Um, body, the body is moulded quite nice. And instruction sheets is very straightforward. Just crying out for detail. Um, the rear doors can be molded, can be glued in the open or closed position. They're not hinged. Um, unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, while you do get a radiator, there's no underbonnet engine details, which is a shame. The bonnet is in one piece, but you can no doubt cut it to make it open to close, but no engine, what's the point? The rear step can be done in folded or unfolded or straightened, as they call it for some weird reason. And like I said, the instruction sheet is fairly easy to follow. The colours and the placement of decals for 30 core. And just generic non-regimental ambulances. British Army, North Africa. 
British Army Alexandria, but that one's a particular one. 30 core motor ambulance convoy RESC, Northwest Europe, and of course the ATS Princess Elizabeth one in England, the famous one she had a photograph taken with, complete with L plates. So all in all, a really, really nice model. You could have done with some better detail, but as I say, although it's brand new from AFIX, a brand new moulding, the dies have been made by Academy Models, and it will no doubt be boxed as an Academy Models in the future. But there is, for a couple of quid extra, the far better detailed Gecko model version. And the Gecko model version comes with a miniature of Princess Elizabeth, a la ATS uniform. Other than that, it is quite a nice addition to the Airfix range. Brand new for 2022. And let's say hope they capitalise on this kit like they haven't done with others in the past. And they make the most of it by issuing a truck and the 30 weight cab version. But looking at these sprues, the lack of one sprue missing and the addition of further glazing details leads me to believe that they may be doing that at some stage in the future. I do know the Gecko Models one will be doing such a thing. So yep, in the shops now, the new Airfix 135 Austin K2Y Ambulance. Bye for now.